Hey, what's going on guys? It's Donut here, and I'm just going to give you guys a fair warning before I start this video. I'm just going to be completely stating my opinion in this video. Um, if you have a different opinion, um, just leave it down in the comments. Do not come hate at me if you disagree with something, some things that I say. Um, this is just going to be a commentary from my opinion why I think that Call of Duty is dying and why trickshotting teams in general are kind of dying and going downhill. So. Um, I'm in no way uh, bashing people in this because I'm going to use some things as an example. Um, I still find this fun to do, but it's definitely not as fun as it was uh, many years ago. So uh, let's just get right into it. So um, one reason why I think uh, Call of Duty is dying is because, well, the most obvious reason, the games <laughs> that we're, we're getting uh, put out on the market. Um, well, not necessarily why COD is dying, why trickshotting is dying. So, uh, basically what happened is um, when Event or when Ghost came out, uh, Ghost is a great game, uh, don't get me wrong. One of my favorite CODs to watch trickshots on nowadays is Ghost. But uh, when Ghost came out, uh, a lot of people didn't like Ghost. And I don't know why, it's a great game. I like playing it. Um, but uh, when Ghost came out, people were so used to the MW2 and everything, and like phase itself phase is like the team that we go to phase is the team that everybody looks at and phase is the phase like used they used to i'm going to say used to phase used to absolutely just like set the standards for everyone like phase would everyone would kind of basically just do what they were doing uh but phase realized that um with ghosts especially black ops 2 was great for them don't get me wrong they did the phase 5 god Black Ops 2 has made more phase people money than my parents have made in their entire life. Like, literally, Black Ops 2 fucking blew up phase and phase rain and everybody and all those guys. But phase clan in general, the team that uploads episodes, well, well, they don't anymore, but they were supposed to. Well, they weren't supposed to, but you know what I mean. What they did upload in BO2 that just pulled these insane ratings, like, God, some of their videos have, like, just millions and millions of views. When Ghost came out, that absolutely just deteriorated. They put out two will camps, and I mean, today, when you look at those videos, they have really good ratings, but they have been out for, like, years, so that's why. Uh, th they just stopped pulling the ratings now, and if you look at videos from FaZe and teams like that, not really teams like that, just basically FaZe and all their members, um, a vlog with Yannette Garcia in it, got three times the ratings of the last episode that went up on phase just let that just just think about that for a second i mean god i know why everyone clicked on that video yannette garcia but phase rain uploaded a vlog of his finished basement and it got four times the rating that phase last episode did so like i guess i guess we can just like kind of see here like the decline and why everybody that watches these guys it's just for personality it's not really about uh the the clips that you hit anymore because it's it's too overdone like another thing that i'm going to say from my opinion is that um what happened before ghost is people would play mw2 sure they were setting up and everything but ghost came out and once people played that game they got bored of it and that's like kind of the time that eb and all that stuff like kind of started getting into everything and people had already played the shit out of MW2. They got sick and tired of going into six mans and waiting to find, like, against other people. They just wanted an easier way to do it. It was way too repetitive. They wanted to go for better shots in less time. So they started doing EB. Uh, EB is good for people because they can hit whatever they want first try. You can go for a shot 100 times online and not hit it, but do it in 10 minutes with EB and hit it once. And that's kind of what happened. Uh, as that became easier and everything, it kind of went to Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 used to be strictly, like, not setting up. And I just want to say real quick, I'm not, like, a, like, don't set up, save the community. I'm not, like, one of those nerds. But it, it's just, like, it came, it came upon itself. Everyone got sick and tired doing the exact same thing over and over again. And, I mean, like, let's be honest. Advanced Warfare just, like, fucking ruined everything. Like, Advanced Warfare basically just, like, killed this. And Black Ops 3 doesn't look like it's going to be any better. It's all futuristic CODs now, which is just, like, fucking terrible. And, I mean, I'm, the reason I'm playing MW2 for this video is for a reason. Why can't we just have a game like this? Why do we have to have the new futuristic Call of Duty? They do shit anyways from people who red gun anyways. Like, 
why why can't we just have a game that's classic? So I've already been rambling for a while now, but I just want to say one more thing about uh, teams, teams that are starting nowadays. And I mentioned this a little bit in another commentary, but if you are not established and you want to make a team with friends for fun, you will get dislike botted, your ratings will go to shit, you will get shit talked because you are not up to standards. Everything's a competition now, just saying. Every single thing is a competition. Every aspect to this, your players, the amount of ratings that you get, the amount of views that you get, the leader you are, how how many knacks are in your cams everything is a competition and people will eliminate the competition there's multiple ways now they will hack your channel they will dislike bot your channel they will do anything they possibly can to make your experience leaving a cod clan as fucking miserable as you possibly can as they possibly can that is basically what happens now and if there's two teams that both have 5k and one 5k team fucking dislike bots the shit out of the other and that team ends good for them because there's no other teams at 5k they can take your players they can take that space it's it's like a fucking gang war it's like the bloods and the crips in la like they ki the bloods kill half the crips <laughs> then they get half the city like it's just it's exactly how it is everything's a competition if you go around and go, I want you guys to go look on AE7's channel. AE7 was a team around like two or three years ago. And if you go look at the comments, there was teams like Tex District, uh, like Tame, all these old teams. They would go comment, you know, nice cams, blah, blah. Teams would subbox each other. Everyone was friends. And if you left a team to join another, good, good for them. It, everybody was so nice you can go around I don't know how you do it but you can look at tweets from like people like years ago and <laughs> everything is just like changed so much now everyone tells each other to get cancer and that's pretty much it so basically the summary of this video and what I'm gonna say is that uh, shitty Call of Duties led to repetitive playing of games and that led to shortcuts like EB that led to all that shit and now that it's basically the exact same thing, the only thing that's left is for it to be a competition. It's not fun anymore because we've been doing it so fucking long. So, I think that after Black Ops 3, if that's not a good game for trickshotting, like, can we really, like, do another year of Black Ops 2? You think, you think FaZe Rain, the, one of the most influential people in the community who's been playing Black Ops 2 for the past three years, is really gonna upload another year of Black Ops 2? Like, I mean, he'll do whatever he has to do to make money. I mean, this is his job. But, like, do you really think he's going to enjoy getting on Xbox 360 and playing Black Ops 2 for another 365 days? There's no way. I mean, maybe he'll do it if just because he wants money. But I'm honestly going to tell you guys, I cannot edit Black Ops 2 for another year. I don't think people can play Black Ops 2 for another year. It's just not going to happen. And if I see another year of MW2, I'm fucking quitting this in two seconds because I cannot do this shit anymore. So, yeah, guys, that I, I just kind of went on a little rant there. This is completely opinion based. If you don't, if you don't uh, agree with me, you really don't have to. Uh, that's basically my thoughts on this. So, if you enjoyed the video, if you agree with me, let me know down below. Start, start, like, don't start arguments with people in the comments. Let, let's let's be like we were years ago, and let's just kind of just talk, because that doesn't happen anymore. Now it's just like you're a retard. Yeah, so <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you want more just like opinion-based commentaries like this, also leave that down in the comments. Use the comments section like we did in 2012. Just just talk in it. Don't shit talk and argue in it. So this has been Donut. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you all later. Bye.